What's going on guys, Larry Hendricks here for GadgetGrizzly.com and we're here to review the Apple iPod Shuffle 4th generation 2GB hard drive. Alright, holds about 500 or so songs depending on how big your, your, your songs are. Um, with mine I'm getting about 300, uh, but I don't really have that, that many in there at all. So let's do a hardware walk around real quick. You have your front buttons on top, you have it right in the middle, you have your play and pause, you have volume up, volume down, and next song, previous song. Alright, now on the top, you have your 3.5mm headphone jack, you have an LED light right there, which you can't see, I'll show you how it works. See, now you can see it, there you go. Then you have a voice IP button, which basically when you hit that, it'll tell you what song you're on, or what playlist you're on, um, so on and so forth. Which is odd, because they tell you what playlist you're on, but you can't switch between playlists, so there should just be one playlist. But it does tell you that. Then you have a th uh, three position button right here on the right. You have off, play in order, and play shuffle. Alright, pretty simple, straightforward so far. Uh, you have a pants clip, clips on your pants, your pocket, backpack, wherever. The clip right on top of there with a little teeny lip there to help hold on to it. Um, and it, it does work sometimes and it doesn't sometimes. So let's go to the bad things with this real quick, just burn right through it. Uh, the clip, when you're putting it on, your finger does slip because of the finish on the back. This here, these buttons I think should have been a little more difficult to push. They push pretty easily and because of that, if you're doing a squat or anything where you, your pants, if you're at the gym, say if you're at the gym, you do a squat and your pants get a little tight around uh, where this is, if you have them in your pocket, it'll push that button. Or if you bump against something, it'll push that button, it'll stop it, it'll go next song, it'll increase or decrease your volume. Not a huge issue, it's only happened a couple times uh, in the probably one month, two months I've had it, probably one month I think. Um, so not an issue, but other than that, that's the only bad things I've had to say about this. It's a pretty straightforward device. It's perfect for what I wanted it for. Uh, I go to the gym, I wanted something real lightweight, real easy to carry around, and only holds a few songs for my workout shuffle, or my workout playlist. So it's perfect for that. Um, for anyone wanting a lot more than that, wanting to hold their entire music in, his, in, in an iPod, this is probably not for you. You're probably going to want to upgrade to a nan Nano or even an iPod Touch um, if you don't already have an iPhone or a music player on your phone. So, but what, you know, it, it's lightweight, it works perfect at that for running, for any activity like that, it doesn't weigh you down whatsoever. Um, the sound quality is what you would expect, it's fantastic. Um, I don't use the Apple iPhone, or the, um, the iPod headphones, I actually do use Skullcandy headphones, uh, which I think help the bass out a lot more, but that's not here nor there. Now... The odd thing with this is the charging port. Uh, not I mean, odd, it's just a new thing to it. As opposed to having, it's so small there's no 30 pin connector on the bottom. So what you do is you just take this, you plug it right into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and plug it right into either a uh, computer or if you already have a charger um, that you can plug into the wall with an adapter for this, then you're set to go. Um, it will hold a charge for long long time. I have yet to run out of a charge, but then again, I'm that kind of guy that I'll keep charging every few days, and it'll run for a long, long time. So no issue. The battery's an A+. The device itself is, I, would, I don't want to say flawless. There are a few little flaws that can be worked on, but otherwise, it's a fantastic device, guys. If you just want something lightweight, take to the gym, go running, something that's not going to really weigh you down or, or uh, be too bulky, this is a perfect, perfect device. I believe I paid fifty dollars for it at Best Buy. So if this is what you guys are looking for, definitely go check it out. All right, guys. So this is uh, Larry Hendricks from Gadget Grizzly, and I will see you guys later.